What's up everyone, welcome to Rears Avenue. For those who have not been following the Disney and Fox deal, it's finally coming to a close. After all these years, it's finally coming to a close. We're finally getting some word of what's happening with the titles that's under Fox. And so, um, a tweet came out from Daniel Richmond, but he tweeted saying this. Not a huge surprise, but from what I hear, Gambit and Doctor Doom are officially dead. As for X-Force, it's not officially dead, but they only have two months to start filming it, and that's not going to happen. So, not happening, not with Fox anyways. Uh, for New Mutants, will be the last X-Men Universe movie for Fox, and Dark Phoenix, the last one coming from the main series. Um, so yeah, that's his tweet. I mean, those are the titles that we all been kind of like, what's what's happening with Gambit, what's happening with, uh, with X-Force. It's good to finally get some word or get some type of hint of what's happening to those titles. I mean, Gambit itself, uh, I mean, I, <laughs> I had a strong feeling it was never going to happen with Fox at least. Um, I mean, Channing Tatum and Gambit, I mean, the whole idea was kind of like, I, I really scratched my head on that one. Um, and if this you know if this title does get moved over to to marvel and they do want to proceed with it i'm really curious if they're going to even want to have channing tatum play gambit i mean i'm sure they could find a way better way better actor to play gambit i mean channing tatum i mean he was never the best fit for gambit to begin with so i i would think with marvel's casting um with gambit i'm sure they could find someone insanely better um, that, that could fit the part and I'm hoping that you know Marvel could bring in Gambit into the X-Men team finally uh, I'm sure everyone would want to see that so for Dr. Doom Man Fox to get out of here. You screwed up Dr. Doom twice already um, It's about time for someone else to handle that character um, and with Dr. Doom and, and under Marvel and Disney that just sounds perfect and I, I think uh, Marvel can do something amazing with that character, especially with uh, you know with the whole Fantastic Four storyline. Um, I'm excited to see what you know what they do with that, um, just because I've been really disappointed with all the Fantastic Fours that that have been done in the past. So I'm just really excited to see what happens with that. Um, as for X Force, I mean this tweet says they have two months to to start filming it, or it goes you know it goes with with uh, Disney and Marvel. Um, I don't think they are going to film it just because they're probably you know just just preparing uh, with uh, with being under Disney and so they probably had to do they're probably right now they're probably doing rewrites so we may not even hear about a production until maybe next year so they probably have to do some rewrites uh, and kind of just restructure this whole approach of Deadpool just to fit the Marvel look just like what they did with Once Upon a Deadpool I mean that movie itself was kind of like a test to Disney like hey this movie can survive on a PG-13 that movie made a 300 million dollars um, and so my gut feeling is saying that they're they are going to rewrite it and just kind of restructure the whole Deadpool um, approach um, but I really do hope that they do continue with what uh, Ryan Reynolds has built uh, because I mean I mean the, the the fans are not gonna get confused right I mean we could understand you know we could definitely accept you know an, an R-rated Deadpool movie under Disney and that's that's not a problem I'm sure you know Disney's looking at it like oh that's gonna destroy our our look you know that's not what we're about we're not about R-rated movies but hey I mean you you this is the perfect time to change right Deadpool itself he he definitely breaks the fourth wall so he can walk the lines of different uh, being under different uh, you know companies or different brands right so I think Deadpool is definitely that only exception that can do that uh, and no one else can and so um, X-Force is something that I definitely hold truly close to me just because I was really close to that comic book um, when Rick Remender was working on it I really hope they do make this movie for the fans and made perfectly and, and the right way as for the New Mutants and uh, Dark Phoenix movie, you know, as I you know, I've said it before, but I really do like this X Men cast. But I'm not scared for them to recast. Um, I know it's going to take a while for the, for Marvel to even figure out what to do with the X Men. Um, so I, I'm happy to you know hear that they're you know Fox is leaving it with them. So I really do hope that Dark Phoenix ends off really well. I mean, the last trailer, you know, wasn't. It didn't really do it for me, uh, but I, I'm definitely gonna watch it regardless. 
but uh, I really do hope this this last movie that they make is a really good one because that would really suck for them right as for new mutants I mean this movie is going to be a standalone I love how they're gonna you know just make it a horror movie I think that's really great um, and I think this is a perfect ending for Fox to uh, leave the superhero genre uh, with new mutants as you know as a reminder to everyone hey we started this whole R-rated um, superhero genre, so um, you know they're the they're the ones. Whoever does it next, they're pretty much you know gonna just look at how Fox did it, and should be like they're the ones that started it. I am excited for this movie. Um, this cast is pretty great. Uh, you know the tone that I'm looking at was great. I love I, I love R-rated superhero movies. I think those do it really justice, and, and they make it look like it's set in reality because you know super villains and. What villains do to you know superheroes can be really scary, um, and so uh, I know this is a horror, you know, monster film. So I know it's not going to go too too much in reality, but you know the way it looks it looks pretty damn real. So I'm excited to see what happens with that, and uh, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think about this whole ordeal. Uh, do you think that any of these these films, such as you know? Deadpool or X Force will remain R-rated when it goes to to Marvel, or uh, do you think everything's gonna be just rewritten and recasted? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time.